how can I help rather than something like, you know, what problems do you have? And notice the subtle shift in, in a pronoun there, the difference between an I versus a, a you. We do this all the time. I'm, I'm terrible at this, but um, yous can feel quite accusatory, even when we don't mean them that way. So, you know, in our personal lives, if someone said, did you walk the dog? Did you file this report? Did you make dinner? You might say, well, what do you mean did I walk the dog? It's not my job to, to walk the dog. The person they're really asking is, did the dog get a walk? I, I want to know if the dog got a walk because if it didn't, I'll go give it a walk. But it can feel quite accusatory. It can feel like they're sort of singling us out. And so we need to be really careful about the way we use the word you. And, and, and I call them accusatory yous because even without intending to, yous can suggest blame or, or responsibility and in a way we may not mean. Uh, a few years ago, I did a big study with um, a large consumer electronics firm where I analyzed all their help pages. So think about if your laptop breaks, you have an issue with your phone, you're trying to sync it with something else, you go to these help pages to, to, get, to get help. Um, and sometimes people say this page was helpful and sometimes they say it wasn't helpful. And so I looked at the language on the page and, and how it linked to whether people found it to be helpful or not. And I found that the more a page used the word you, a second person pronoun like the word you, the less helpful people people found it. And when, when I dug a little deeper, I found it was these, these sort of yous suggesting work or blame. You know, if your phone isn't working, you need to reboot the phone and you need to do X, Y, Z. And it feels like, well, wait, I have to, why do I have to do all that work? It's, it's your phone that broke. It's not, it's not my phone. It's the company's phone. It's not my fault. And so being really careful about wh how we throw around I versus you, you know, you can be helpful, but it can also be detrimental and, and make people feel singled out. You know, to me, use can act a little bit like a stop sign, right? If you're scrolling through social media or looking through email, or you have a bunch of different pieces of content you're looking at, it's really easy to move from one to the next without paying attention, without opening, without looking. If something says you, it feels like they're speaking to you directly, right? You have the opportunity to do this. You might want to think about X, Y, Z. Um, now it feels like they're not just talking, they're talking to me in particular. And because they're talking to me in particular, I'm, I'm much more likely to listen. Mm-hmm.